Simulation in Proteus works directly through the microprocessor component on the schematic. You can place and wire up analog or digital circuitry and then simulate the interaction between your firmware and the rest of the system. Proteus supports more than one processor on the schematic, so you can have different code for each processor and simulate the entire system together. This is really useful for master-slave protocol testing, for example. Better yet, when you pause the simulation, you will freeze the entire system in time, allowing you to single-step debug one set of firmware without the other processor clock running ahead. The Diagnostic Measuring System in Proteus provides detailed text reporting of activity and system interaction during simulation. You can specify which onboard peripheral of the MCU you want to monitor and also monitor external peripherals such as memory devices, LCD displays or brushless motors. This ability to log both sides of communications is invaluable as a debugging aid allowing you to locate and fix problems in both software and hardware much faster than you could when working on a physical prototype. Active pop-ups bring relevant parts of the virtual hardware into the debugging environment. You simply drag boxes around schematic areas of interest and they will appear alongside your source code during debugging. You can even interact with the active pop-ups to provide circuit stimulus during a debugging session. Ease of change and speed of change comes in at number one. Firmware designers can write, compile, test and debug code entirely inside Proteus. Meanwhile, hardware design changes happen on the schematic by removing wires or replacing components. Only when the firmware and hardware are thoroughly tested with each other is PCB design necessary as a, and a physical prototype produced.